By Monday's bomb threat to Jewish community centers across the country and right here in Houston, faith leaders are coming together with a message of unity, peace and tolerance. Channel 2's Andy Sirota is live tonight. And Andy, this is a public showing of solidarity, certainly. Lauren, it is. Diversity is a big part of the rich fabric of Houston. Faith leaders wanted the people here to know that what happened on Monday hurt people of all faiths. And as a result, it has brought our city's faith community closer together. In the wake of Monday's bomb threat, it didn't take long for the Houston community to show how much it cares. People from churches, mosques, and synagogues have been offering support and comfort by dropping off flowers and stuffed animals. These handwritten cards from a Muslim woman and her three children really struck a chord with the executive director of the Evelyn Rubenstein Jewish Community Center. And she said we wanted to do something to express our feelings for what had happened and that we, to know that you're not alone and that there's other people that care as well. Monday's bomb threat is part of an uptick in anti-Semitic incidents in Houston and in cities across the country. 68 targeting 53 Jewish community centers in 26 states since November. No parent anywhere should be worrying about this in America in 2017. Today, a coalition of leaders from Houston's diverse faith community stood shoulder to shoulder in a public show of solidarity. Bishop James Dixon organized the gathering. What hurts one hurts all. What helps one helps all. Those gathered here today say hate crimes can take place anywhere. What's most important, they say, is how that community responds. We will not allow the seeds of hate to sprout in our city and in our nation without fierce resistance. And if you want to combat these types of hate incidents, faith leaders are encouraging people, if they see or hear something, to say something. They say staying silent is the worst possible thing a person can do. Live in Meyerland tonight, Andy Sirota, KPRC, Channel 2 News. Thank you, Andy.